Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing some extreme kitchen cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. I'm going to be deep cleaning throughout my entire kitchen, literally pulling everything out of my cabinets, KonMari style, wiping things down, vacuuming, and then organizing. So lots of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing, as well as an olive garden, actually three ingredient olive garden crock pot recipe and a grocery haul and some amazing kitchen organization ideas. I hope you guys are ready for some major decluttering and organizing. About once a year, I like to truly declutter my kitchen, and I mean pull everything out of the cabinets, really wipe them down, deep clean them before I organize. I find that if I pull everything out of the cabinets, I do a better job of reevaluating reevaluating what needs to go back in and i'm more likely to get rid of stuff if it's already out of the cabinets so the plan for today was to pick up the living room and the kitchen just kind of start with the clean slate and then i was going to start pulling things out from the bottom half of the cabinets i did this last year i think i was a little bit over ambitious and i thought i'd be able to get it all done like every cabinet in one session but i quickly learned that, that wasn't the case and it was just way too much work. So I would suggest if you have a big organizing and decluttering project, try not to overwhelm yourself. It Just start out slow and do it a little bit at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. So this is gonna be part one of kitchen organization, decluttering and organization, um, working on the bottom half of the kitchen cabinets and then organizing three areas. And then next week you're gonna see me in part two where I'll be doing the top half of the kitchen cabinets and organizing three other spaces in my kitchen. There were just some areas I wanted to clean before I got started decluttering because I knew that I would be exhausted when I was done. And while I was in the kitchen and focusing on the kitchen, I just wanted to knock these tasks out. So I wanted to scrub out my sink, get my sink a really good scrubbing, which is one of my favorite things to clean in the kitchen. I just find it very satisfying. And then I wanted to clean my oven before I started decluttering and if you guys are new to my channel hello i want to introduce myself i'm jamie and i am truly truly grateful that you're here and i hope that maybe we're cleaning together or maybe you're just dancing along to the music and having fun watching me do all of the work but either way hopefully i am providing you some type of entertainment or motivation or inspiration to you and your life I'm a mom and a wife. I have, well, I'm married to my high school sweetheart. We met in fifth grade at camp. We've been married for almost 12 years. And then we have three daughters. Um, our oldest is in kindergarten. And then we have twins who will be two. I almost said one, which is crazy. Um, they'll be two at the end of March. We struggled with infertility. So we had quite the journey to get all three of our kids. But specifically with the twins, we were able and blessed to get pregnant through IVF. That was quite the journey, but totally worth it. Um, I hope that my videos will provide you with weekly inspiration. You know, I like to post videos to give you guys cleaning tips and hacks, decluttering and organi organization motivation, just to show you what I do. I am not perfect. I feel like I'm losing my mind half of the time. I'm always going crazy and bouncing from one thing to another, but hopefully we can, we're, you know, just know that we're in this together.
we're gonna get it done. I'm gonna help you. We're gonna get it done little by little. So I would love to have you guys join my journey, join my community, and if you do, please say hi. So two of the areas, two out of the three that I'm going to be organizing today is my pots and pans and then my cups and water bottles. Those areas just have been driving me crazy. So I spent some time and I found some really good organizers and I actually bought a couple of different ones to try out and see what would truly work and last. And I found some that truly work the best. So I cannot wait to share these organizers with you. So here throughout the kitchen, I'm using a lot of the Jaws cleaning products, which I love. I love the whole line. And then a lot of the Grove collaborative products like the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser and the Bon Ami. And if you're not familiar with Jaws, it stands for Just Add Water System. So you reuse the bottles and you just pop in new pods. That's what you buy. You just buy new pods. And I love the kitchen degreaser. That's what I'm using here. And then all of the other Jaws cleaning products. I really love, they have a disinfectant. They have a foaming shower cleaner that I really like in the granite cleaner. And they all have a very light scent. There's a scent, but it's a very light scent, which I like because it's not overpowering, but they also really work. They're great products. Um, and then, like I said, I'm using the Bon Ami and the Mrs. My Myers baking soda cream cleanser, which I got from the Grove Collaborative website. And I've just found that over the past year, really, it's been near impossible to find cleaning products and get cleaning products at the grocery stores. So I've been using the Jaws cleaning products and then ordering from Grove. And it just makes life easier because they always have them in stock and it gets delivered straight to my home and I can, you know, I don't really have to worry about it. But for the Jaws, um, I'll have a coupon code for you for 25% off if you want to give them a try. I also have a link for Grove. If you are a first time customer, you can get a free gift set and it's truly a really good gift set. Like it's a worth it type of gift set. Um, and you know, Grove has disinfectants, they have hand sanitizers, they have body wash, they have way more than you think. And just so you guys know that neither of the links are affiliate links. I don't make any money. If you go and spend money, I don't make anything from it. I'm just sharing these because you get either a coupon code or a free gift set. So just wanted to share those with you. And those are the products I've really been enjoying lately. So you guys can see I was just pulling everything out and reorganizing the things in the cabinet. Um, this cabinet specifically, I really wasn't focusing on too much just because it's all of Avery's school supplies, her art cabinet, like all of that, like coloring books and crayons and markers. So I'm going to tackle this another day when I'm with her so we can go through it together. But all of the other cabinets were kitchen stuff that I really needed to declutter. And I find that doing this once a year, I always seem to get rid of a little bit more every single year and it just really cuts down on the clutter i'm blessed didn't know it take me past my destiny you're behind me with the rest because i'm a mess no So the three areas I'm going to be organizing today were the three areas that probably have been driving me the most crazy in my kitchen over the past year. I have never found good systems to organize those areas and they were just areas that have been bugging me. And these are the three areas that I'm sure you have struggles with as well. And I found some amazing organizers that really, really made a huge difference and they helped me a ton. So I know they can help you as well. Gotta make space for the new you Like I'm old news in your review mirror It must be nice that you went and got a penthouse All your friends party and it's real loud Brand new money with a brand new chest Still a baby bird fries straight off the nest like you
So this Lazy Susan corner cabinet, I don't love. It just kind of, like things just kind of get shoved back back there and I feel like it's kind of a random place to put your pots and pans but honestly it really works well for our kitchen because we have the stove in the oven right there so it's like if I'm going to boil some noodles I can just reach down really quickly and grab out a pot or pan and I had thought about moving them to the deep cab pull out um, drawers in the island but it just really didn't make sense because our stove or oven is right there so and honestly i don't even know what else we would be putting in the lazy susan cabinet anyways so it honestly works out really well and the organizers i got worked and in this cabinet we just kind of have a lot of random appliances and if you guys have a blender you really love let me know so our blender is i think 12 years old and there was a piece on the top where you can you would you could open it up and then pour out your you know smoothie or shake or whatever you make well that broke off and we lost it so now when i make or blend things up i have to take a paper towel and hold it over that area so stuff doesn't spray all over so we are in desperate need of a new blender let me know if you have one that you like i'm excited for this cabinet because it's a mess 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 there's i know there's cups in here that we don't use anymore i've gotten more cups because i've started to love i'm in love with the yeti cups so i've picked up or i got a couple of those for christmas and we're just not using as many of our normal coffee cups and some of the water bottles and we have more water bottles now just because avery's using some for school and all of that so i got an organizer that i'm excited to put together and so when we put cups away, they're all not just like shoved in here and falling apart. They keep on telling lies. That is how we stay alive. So I put all of the, or I pulled all of the cups out and then I started to separate them by the types of cups and how often we use them. And then I, as I was doing that, if there were any cups that were, you know, like really beat up or we didn't really use, then I pulled them out to get rid of them. And these are the organizers that I got off of Amazon and I will have all of the organizational things that I used linked below in the description, but they ended up being perfect for this space. And what I like about them is you can get a two shelf organizer or a three shelf organizer. And I ended up getting both just because both, depending on what shelf it was going on, um, you know, I thought it was nice to have the third shelf one for the bigger shelves that I have in my cabinet. So I also like these organizers specifically because um, if you have bigger water bottles or smaller water bottles, you can adjust the shelves. A lot of the water bottle organizers that I found, you could not adjust the shelving. And we have a lot of different sizes of water bottles. Um, and then the other thing was a lot of the organizers on Amazon, they almost had like um, a dip to it. So it, the water bottle would be cradled, if that makes sense. I'll try to put a picture here which I like that idea because they're not going to shift or move. But then at the same time, I was like, but what if you have a bigger water bottle or a smaller water, water bottle that doesn't really fit in that area? I don't think it, I mean, you almost have to have like a specific size water bottle for those organizers. And so for these, the shelves aren't flat. So the organize or the bottles don't move. Like if you remove one water bottle from the shelf, it's not like they all shift and move and go back and forth. But at the same time, you can have different size water bottles that work for these shelves. I'm in love. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Obviously, I was able to get rid of a lot, um, but basically, I only kept what we use. So we have, um, these are just kind of like a few extra cups, Avery's sports, soccer, softball, water jugs. These are the water bottles she takes to school because she has to take a water bottle every day to school. And then these are workout shaker bottles that we use if we need like pre-workout or something. And then these are just water cups that I use on a daily basis or Mike uses. 
and then my coffee cups and I end up using the same coffee cups almost every single day because we, we run a load in the dishwasher so I really don't need a ton of coffee cups. Mike doesn't drink coffee and we honestly never have people over who drink coffee. Um, and then I had this, this was actually under my sink um, before I reorganized it and I kept it and I think it will be perfect for all of the straws for these cups and then getting you know more reusable straws and then the, the straw cleaner right here. So much nicer of a setup. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to The next step was to organizing um, was the pots and the pans. And I will tell you, I did order a couple of different organizers because I wasn't sure what was going to work in this space. And I ordered some that were cheaper than these ones. Um, and this one actually is the same brand as the bottle organizer, Eucopia or something like that. But you can, um, the reason why I went with these, they were a little bit more expensive, but you can readjust those like metal slats. So if you have a different size pan or, you know, more organ or more lids or something you can adjust those and the other organizers you couldn't do that so i thought it was worth the money to pay a little bit extra to get some that could grow or be more flexible depending on the type of um, pots and pans and lids that we have Okay, so I was able to get all of the pans and then the pan lids up here at the top and it's just nice because it can twirl. And at first I didn't know if this is where I wanted to keep the pots and the pans, but it just makes sense since the stove is right here. So now I don't, you know, when we need a certain pot or pan, um, we can just grab it like that. We don't have to stack them or unstack them and it turns so it makes it easier to grab them. And then down here, I just stacked the pots, which I try to stack, I stack them with how we use them. So you have, you know, the big pots, or these are the smaller ones that we don't use very often. And I would say we probably use these the most often for like macaroni and cheese and stuff. So I put, you know, boiling noodles for the girls right there. So um, a lot less cluttered. We have nothing in the corners, which is nice. And the only thing that I wasn't able to fit on there was these. And I tried to actually put them originally in here uh, because with these, we could like sneak some of those back there, but with the lids, it just didn't work. Or with these handles, it just didn't work. So um, they were intersecting with each other. So I just tucked them back there, which it still works. See, they still go, so. Go back to never wanted to end things like the next area was our silverware drawer these organizers um that i had in here were really old and it's really not that big of a deal there's nothing wrong with having old organizers but i just felt like things were always getting stuck when we would try to pull out the drawer so i went and found this pretty inexpensive um it was inexpensive compared to other expandable drawer organizers but i got this one off of amazon and it's expandable which i like and it truly gave us way more space in here um and then the narrow skinny white organizers are from target and they're my favorite organizers from for drawers i'm actually going to be using them in my bathroom but you get a pack of three for two dollars and it just allows you to organize a drawer like a space in a drawer and they have different sizes so you can it's like putting a puzzle together and you can pretty much make anything work Okay, this is 
everything that we are getting rid of just from the bottom cabinets, which you guys saw that we don't really have a lot. So I'm pretty happy with this amount of stuff that we're getting rid of. So next, what I wanted to do was clean out my refrigerator and pantry. Mike had actually went and picked up the groceries earlier. And when I came home, I did film a grocery haul, which I'll share at the end of the video. Because I know that some of you guys don't care about grocery hauls. And I don't want to make you guys suffer through it. Um, so I wanted to put all of that stuff away. Put away the groceries and organize them. And I recently got this new Aunt Fanny's all-purpose cleaning vinegar spray from Grove Collaborative. And I was going to use that in there, um, but there were some really sticky messes on the top shelf. So I went in with the Dawn Power Wash because I knew that Power Wash, which I love, is super powerful and it would take care of all of the sticky messes so I wouldn't have to scrub too much. But then I wanted to use the Aunt Fanny's cleaning vinegar spray for the rest of the refrigerator. And I really, really loved it. Like it just left this nice lemon scent in the air. But I know it was cleaning because of the cleaning vinegar. And just so you guys know, cleaning vinegar is different than just regular white distilled vinegar. Um, and like I said, there's like a lemon scent. And I think they have another scented one. Um, but I definitely liked using this in the refrigerator and this was one of those hidden gems on the Grove Collaborative website. I've always liked the Mrs. Myers and Method products, but I was really searching for different cleaning products to try out this time and I was really happy with this one. <laughs> Honestly, do you guys like seeing me clean and organize my refrigerator? Because it might be one of my favorite areas to clean. I just There's just something satisfying about a clean and organized refrigerator. Um, I don't know if you guys find it boring or what, but I'm sure you off have to often clean your, your uh, refrigerator. And I know they make like covers, which I've thought about getting, but I just there is just something knowing that your refrigerator is completely wiped down and all clean and it always makes me feel so good. So next I was moving onto the pantry and I feel like sometimes when we go to the grocery store, I try to plan it out so we go when I have time to actually organize when we bring the food back. This was one of those days because I knew I was going to be focusing on the kitchen so I knew I'd have the time, but I'll admit this does not always happen, but it's nice to be able to go, come home, you know, put everything away nicely and not be rushing. Um, it's also nice to be able to take things out of boxes and organize everything. So it was really, really nice to be able to do that today. I'm falling behind, falling behind. I hate to separate my body and mind. My body and mind. You feel like, you feel like demons in my mind. Demons, demons in my mind. You taste like, you taste like demons in my mind. And we do recycle. We just have to actually take all of it to a recycling center. We don't have recycling pickup where we live. So we just put it in bags so it's easier to transport. Struggling to come through. We had a fire that we wash and burn out. Isn't it time? Isn't it time we go our separate ways? Not enough time, not enough time. 
Okay, so this is the crock pot recipe. It's seriously so easy. You just take chicken breast, um, 16 ounces of ol Olive Garden dressing, which ended up being the whole bottle. Um, they also have a light dressing if you're interested in that. And then some Parmesan cheese. And I just kind of eyeballed the Parmesan cheese because we love it. So, um, but I will have the recipe in, linked in the description. But once I got that going, I was just kind of vacuuming and then I wanted to mop in the kitchen and I always kind of like to end my cleaning sessions with vacuuming and mopping because it just makes me feel like everything's tied together and I love seeing those vacuum lines. Um, I also I also had laundry to film or fold, but I wasn't going to film it because it didn't really make sense because I'm focusing mainly on the kitchen in this video. But then I was like, wait a minute. I'm sure somebody out there has to do some laundry, right? I mean, I have laundry every single day to do. So I figured, hey, I'll throw it in here. So if you have laundry to fold, maybe we can fold together. And I'm gonna have that after the grocery haul. mop i was using my o cedar spin mop and then i put in one teaspoon of powdered tide laundry detergent which has been my go-to lately for uh, mopping my floors and i know it sounds crazy but it's game changing so many of you have messaged me and says wow my floors have never been cleaner so one teaspoon of powdered tide laundry detergent and i also have a uh, steam mop and i get some people are like you know why do you go back and forth and honestly i just kind of like to switch it up sometimes because that way I don't get bored so I just I like my O cedar mop better but I like to switch it up just because it makes things more exciting and I do like the steam mop for getting really stuck on food um, that's on the floor for like that's under the high chairs because sometimes we get really sticky food that's on the floor and the steam mop is one of the only things that really can get all of that food up Would you follow me? All right, so we have some milk, which is always a staple. I got some snacks for the girls. They really like the flavor blasted goldfish way more than normal goldfish. I don't know what it is, but all three girls love the extra cheddar. So I don't know, try it if you want to. Um, vanilla cupcake goldfish, another favorite. I got some bars for the girls. Now I usually get for the twins. I usually get these sunny day snack bars and I always like them because they didn't make too much of a mess, but lately they've been making a huge mess. So maybe it's the twins with Avery when she had these, she never made a huge mess. Um, but the twins have been making a huge mess. So I'm like, well, then I guess it doesn't matter what granola bars we buy. So I also grabbed these, uh, they are teething. Um, they've been teething for a while and sometimes they're just super cranky and they refuse to eat so I've been making sure we're stocked up on yogurt stuff for smoothies which I also got some stuff granola bars um, and like applesauce pouches <laughs> I always want those on hand so if they don't eat at least I know they'll probably eat something like that so they're getting something in their stomach Avery eats one of these for breakfast almost every day and I like that they're the protein kind. Um, she's just never been a huge breakfast eater. Sometimes she'll eat yogurt. Sometimes she'll ask for something separate like pancakes, but most of the time she just wants like fruit and a granola bar or granola bar and yogurt. And I feel like if she's eating a decent granola bar and one with some protein, I just feel better sending her to school with some extra protein. So we get those, we got some cheese. I'm gonna be making some pasta salad for the girls. So we always have cheese sticks for the girls, but I got these little cubes to put into the pasta salad. A Lunchable 
I'm gonna be making a white chicken chili this week. I'm gonna be making a, white chick a crock pot white chicken chili soon, so I got stuff for that. Um, our Olive Garden crock pot chicken. It's honestly the easiest and the best. One of the best meals and one of our go-tos. Some tortellini, cheese and spinach tortellini. Avery likes taking this for her lunches, but all three girls, it's just a quick lunch or dinner. You just boil, boil them, so fruit and vegetable pouches again. Something we always have on hand, and honestly, I need to go to Costco because I feel like they're way more expensive when you get them like this at the regular grocery store. So we need to go to Costco, um, but until we get a chance to do that, I just got a few boxes. Um, these are the girls' favorite waffles. I mentioned this before. They've never been big waffle eaters. Um, and then I got these thick and fluffy ones, and they love these. So I think they're not as hard and crunchy, and they're, they're fluffy, so they like them a lot more. So we usually always have these on hand. Frozen broccoli. This is one of Avery's favorite and my favorites. And then I was just looking for different protein sources for the twins. They can get pretty picky, and they get tired of eating the same things over and over. Avery can eat the same things every single day and she's fine as can I um, but the twins need more of a variety so I find that if I do more rotations if I introduce new foods they're more likely to eat it um, so I just try to always bring in different types of foods and we don't eat a lot of hot dogs in general and not a lot of hot dogs specifically in the winter you know in the summer we're always putting things on the grill um, but I just thought another protein source, something different. So I picked up some of these. And then these cauliflower veggie tots. We've tried the cauliflower and broccoli ones. The kids hated them, but broccoli has a strong taste. Um, we've tried the sweet potato and cauliflower. The kids hated them. <laughs> so I'm trying to go with just the cauliflower. I'm hoping this works but honestly, I'm not gonna feel too hopeful. They, the twins specifically are super picky. I mean, Avery will eat broccoli and green beans. When it comes to vegetables, the, kit, the twins are picky. So I figured cauliflower is pretty mild. We'll give it, we'll give it a go. Um, peanuts, garden rotini. I'm gonna use this for the pasta salad I'm gonna make. Um, ooh, some yogurt pouches for the girls. Some Go-Gurts. Avery likes the tube yogurts. Well, she likes any type, um, but these are more for Avery. These are more for the twins. Um, carrot chips. Avery loves carrots, and I just, no particular reason why I got the chips, just to switch it up a little bit. Strawberries, tomatoes for the pasta salad, a green pepper for the pasta salad, and onion for the chili, um, limes, and lemons for my water, bananas, coffee, Uncrustables. I get these. Avery used to buy a lot more in the beginning of the school year she would buy and then something happened and she just never wants to buy anymore. So we kind of rotate between about five different lunches but I always like to keep these on hand for you know busy mornings, busy evenings where I don't know we just don't have time and I I like getting the reduced sugar ones. So, Uncrustables, peanut butter and jelly, eggs, bread, lemonade, and then pancakes. This is another staple, breakfast staple for the twins. So, it's usually like a rotation between eggs, uh, pancakes, waffles, yogurt, fruit. That's pretty much, oh, chicken sausage. Like, that's pretty much the extent of their breakfast, but... This is the Walmart grocery haul. And then we had recently went to Target so and did a drive up. So I'll show you what we got there as well. More snacks, because <laughs> you can never have too many snacks with your kids, right? Uh, sometimes it just breaks up the morning or like late morning before lunch or afternoon. The girls will say, do you guys want a snack? And they will go over here to their drawer, this is their drawer which I need to organize, they'll go over here and they'll grab their snack bowls. So it's really, really cute when we do that. Um, so I got some of the birthday cake bunny grams for them. I got these for Avery's lunches. Again, just something a little bit different. We try to stick to, you know, uh, pasta, like macaroni and cheese or the tornellini or noodles, pasta salad, um, a turkey sandwich, 
peanut butter and jelly like those are kind of the rotation that she goes through and then we usually do a fruit and or a vegetable like she loves peppers or cucumbers or carrots and then a fruit and then I like throwing in something like this or fruit snacks or something maybe a few chocolate chips just to add a little surprise for her um, I needed some Clorox toilet wands I, these are so hard to find I feel like Target is one of the only places I can get them at and then these we keep on hand for the twins when they're teething um, I really like these I've talked about these so many times but they're specifically like it's not just because they're the plum organic super smoothie they are these specific ones they're very it says right there nutrient dense so um, we don't give these to them very often it's those times where they're just not eating at all and if you can you can see all of the nutrients here so I we always like to keep these on hand for when they're just refusing to eat all right so so the kitchen is half organized clean the living room is clean and and I have about three loads of laundry to fold and I wasn't gonna do it here on camera because it's like I'm kind of focusing on the kitchen today but I know there's someone out there who needs some laundry folding motivation so I'm like why not do it right you guys can fold laundry with me so if you have laundry to do Go grab your basket and let's get to folding. I might be going crazy, I don't know what to do. My heart is screaming for you, babe. And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue, even when it is gray, babe. I am done. My bed's not made, but can't do it all, right? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and make sure you stick around, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Part two of more kitchen decluttering and organizing will be up next week. And of course, there's always cleaning, decluttering, organizing motivation every Sunday. So make sure you're subscribed, have the notifications turned on, and come over and find me on Instagram. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.